Resolution. All right, so resolution is probably the second most important thing next to audio. You gotta read, okay? So the student looking at your video usually sees something like this and they get turned away. If you look at that text there, that text is really small, really small. Now you upload it to a venue like YouTube, you upload it to a venue like iTunes, and all of a sudden that becomes unreadable. So that's why resolution is important. You got to be able to read the content and listen so you can get both learning uh, spectrums. So when you are putting a message out there, uh, one of the things that I like to show instructors or show anybody is the fact that under the menu under system preferences, you should always take your displays no matter if it's a Mac or a PC and put it like on 1024 by 768. Now you can go stretched or unstretched, it doesn't really matter. In fact Camtasia it just puts out a square video anyway. So, uh, well, kind of a square video. It's, it's uh, all depends what venue that you put it out to. But either way, if you go 768 or 768 stretched, the one thing that you should know is uh, 1024 by 768, if I drew a circle, and here's, a, here's a little visual aid for you. Okay, if I'm drawing a circle in here, oops. an actual document that I can draw a circle in. There we go. Okay, I'll draw another one. Okay, those circles right there. Let me fill it in. That way you can really see it. Okay. Right here is a perfect circle and this one's a little oblong. Well, if you were to capture the video using the 1024 by 768 stretched. You see there's no real change and that's my point right there. So either or you're just stretching out the film preview wise on your desktop and it doesn't affect the video at all. So that being said right here that 1024 by 768 is the lowest I should be able to go you could go 800 by 600 stretch uh, the problem is most applications might not work that good under 800 by 600 the lowest you go here the bigger the buttons get on your software application if I'm going like this and capturing something really like uh, 1680 by 1050 those buttons get really small very quickly and all of a sudden yeah you lose your content so that's why resolution is important. Now, when you are recording, let's hit new recording, you'll notice there is a drop down here that says full screen. Okay? On this one, it's iMac. And you have the resolution of like an iPod, iPhone, YouTube, and web. Don't ever record with these settings. Uh, the fact is you want a very big video and have whatever venue that you're going to. Like the venue of YouTube will automatically reduce the size down in your video as needed. Drawing something really big and shrinking it really small equals lots of detail. If you had a postage stamp and you wanted to blow it up the size of a poster, it's going to look awful because, yeah, taking something small and blowing it up big equals junk. So that's the same concept with video. You always have to worry about drawing big, shrinking small. Okay, as far as that is, goes, um, resolution is pretty straightforward. Think big, shrink small. And then as we go along with this video series, you'll see that what I'm going to be talking about is the different kind of ways to output video so you get true resolution when you go to your venues.
But uh, to do that, let's continue on with the series and look on recording a couple clips and how easy it is to manipulate those. Okay, in the next video.